EV manufacturers, brace yourselves. A game-changing innovation has hit the scene. Canadian Electric Car Parts, powerhouse Magna, has just unveiled their latest ace in the hole, a cutting-edge high-RPM electric motor. This sleek new motor promises to pack a punch with a lightweight design, double the power, and jaw-dropping efficiency that leaves most other motors in the dust. Enjoying the content? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest updates. Join us for more insights and exciting news. Be part of the community today. But first, let's talk about Magna, a name that might not ring a bell, but one you should absolutely know. Magna isn't just some obscure company. They're a global titan in the world of vehicle parts manufacturing. Consistently ranked among Canada's corporate giants, Magna has been in the business of powering the automotive world for decades. Industry heavyweights like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Ford have long relied on Magna for their top-notch parts. As the EV revolution started to rev its engines, Magna saw the future and hit the gas. They poured massive resources into developing must-have components for electric vehicles, positioning themselves as a front-runner in the EV parts game. Today, they're a major player in the EV landscape, producing cutting-edge electrical systems for a long list of big-name manufacturers. For instance, BMW sources its mirror controls, seating electrics, and other peripherals straight from Magna's arsenal of expertise. It doesn't stop there. Magna's reach extends even further. Ford and Volkswagen trust them for key EV components, while Mercedes-Benz EVs are powered by complete Magna-designed powertrains. And here's the kicker. Jaguar handed Magna the keys to the F-Pace and I-Pace, giving them full control over these flagship models. That's right. Magna isn't just a behind-the-scenes player. They're steering the future of EVs. One of Magna's crown jewels is their legendary E-Drive powertrain, a revolutionary system first unleashed in the 2000s and 10s. The Magna E-Drive flipped the script on EV powertrains with its groundbreaking design, delivering not just insane potency and efficiency, but also making manufacturing a breeze. It's no wonder this innovation sent shockwaves through the EV world. One of the key reasons why companies like Stellantis, Tata, Mercedes, and many others go to Magna to produce their EVs is the fact that the E-Drive is one of the easiest EV systems to install in a vehicle, be it an EV or a hybrid. For example, the Jaguar I-Pace we've previously mentioned uses two complete E-Drive systems as well as power electronics and integrated drive units meaning this entire platform is built from the ground up using only Magna's parts. This is also true for the new Fisker Ocean, which uses its powertrain and is also made entirely by Magna. Some vehicles, like the Volkswagen ID.4, are built from the ground up too. However, unlike the previous two, this one was developed by Volkswagen themselves, and they partially use the E-Drive system showing how easily it can be integrated with vehicles that aren't designed for it specifically. The BMW iX3, on the other hand, uses the E-Drive system too, albeit the platform itself is developed, or shall we say adapted, from the regular X3, showing that the E-Drive is a powertrain that can be used without any restraints. Apart from this, Stellantis, Rivian, Hyundai, and various new manufacturers and startups tend to rely more or less on Magna and their E-Drive. That potency was brought to an even greater level earlier this year with the introduction of Magna's new electric motor. Magna's previous electric motor was regarded as one of the better ones on the market. With 400 volts, its remarkable 91% efficiency, a 2 kilowatt per kilogram power-to-weight ratio, and a 16,000 RPM limit, the motor was solid but ultimately unimpressive. It's for this reason that the I-Pace isn't regarded as either the best or the worst EV out there. It's just well in the middle. For example, it was outfitted with two E-Drive units, meaning two electric motors, which granted it a total of 400 horsepower. Not bad, but far from, say, a Tesla Model Y Performance Plus. It also had a relatively mediocre range of only 280 miles due to subpar battery management, which is something Magna is generally known for. Now, this isn't a rule. 
However, most manufacturers tend to do so nowadays. As a result of all this, an 800-volt E-Drive will be noticeably more expensive than the 400-volt E-Drive, which means that this will most likely be reserved for higher-end models. Now, this might seem like a bummer to you. However, this is a fairly common practice among EV makers. Furthermore, there is also the issue of recharging the vehicle. Sure, an 800-volt system can be recharged much faster, but only if the charger allows it. Since 90% of EV models, and an even greater percentage of EVs on the road in general, utilize the 400-volt architecture, most chargers have been tailor-made for them. As a result, you'll hardly see the benefits most of the time, if ever. Oh, and there's also the issue of production. Sure, Magna is a big company. However, it will certainly have to convert some of their assemblies from the 400-volt E-Drive to the 800-volt version, which will ultimately lower the profit somewhat as the latter will be used on a somewhat smaller scale. However, all these issues are a regular occurrence for developing technologies. Heck, if you remember the early 2010s, you could barely charge your EV anywhere. Nowadays, there's a charger at every corner. Not to mention that this isn't an entirely new technology, unlike back then. It's just an evolution of an already existing technology. Building a new infrastructure from the ground up isn't necessary. Instead, it's just about modernizing it. In addition to that, albeit more complex to make at the moment, the complexity will lower as the scale of production increases and the use of materials such as silicon carbide and gallium nitride increases. Plus, with more and more vehicles using 800-volt systems, this technology will become more widespread and far more mass-used than it is now. As a result of this, the price will keep dropping continuously, and this means that soon enough, most EVs will come with such a powertrain as the E-Drive, with 400-volt ones being reserved for just the most affordable EVs.